Adobe Character Animator lets you animate any Photoshop or Illustrator file using your face and voice with your computer's webcam and microphone, making performance capture animation fun and accessible. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the steps of getting a basic head set up. When you first open up Character Animator, you'll see the home screen. You can always reach this screen by clicking the home icon in the header bar at the top. Let's start with the simple face template, Chad. Chad has Photoshop and Illustrator versions available, but today we'll use the Photoshop version by either clicking the picture or the top text link. This imports this face into a character animator project. In your project panel, you'll see two items listed, a puppet and a scene. Eyes and eyebrows in Adobe Character Animator give your character a wide variety of expressive possibilities. When you look around, blink, or move your eyebrows, your animated character does the same. We'll continue with the Photoshop template Chad from Character Animator's home screen. In Photoshop, at the top of the head group, we see two layers, plus left eyebrow and plus right eyebrow. There are a few things to note. First, when we talk about left and right here, we're talking about the characters left and right, not the left and right sides of the screen. Second, when you add a plus in front of a layer's name, that's a special code to Character Animator to make that layer what we call independent, meaning it can move on its own without affecting other layers. When a puppet in Adobe Character Animator hears a voice, it analyzes the sound in real time and picks a mouth shape that fits. So as you talk, the mouth is constantly switching to match whatever syllable is heard, resulting in automatic instant lip sync. Continuing with the Photoshop template Chad from Character Animator's home screen, inside Photoshop you can twirl open the mouth group to see all the different potential mouth shapes. There are 14 total here, so let's break them down. Three of these, neutral, smile, and surprised, are silent mouths and only show up when nothing is being said. In these cases, the shape of your mouth in the webcam will control what shows up here. When setting up a body in Adobe Character Animator, you can add rigging information to determine how a character moves and which parts you can control. In the home screen, let's take a look at a simple human character by clicking the example puppet named Chloe, and then click the Photoshop icon to open the original artwork. Because this version of Chloe already has body rigging associated with it, we can start from scratch by making a new copy of her. In Photoshop, double-click the name of the top plus Chloe group and rename it to plus Zoe. Then we can go to File, Save As, and save her as a new file named Zoe. Adobe Character Animator CC allows you to create a character performance using your face, voice, and other inputs like triggers, draggers, sliders, and more. When you click the red Record button, Character Animator records your performances, which show up in the timeline as takes. You can record as many takes as you want, and then edit them, from changing individual mouse shapes to blending multiple performances together. In the Start workspace, let's get started by clicking the Template Puppet Chloe. This will open up her original Photoshop file, but we won't be editing any artwork in this tutorial, so we can go ahead and quit Photoshop. Back to Character Animator, we should now be in the Record workspace and see Chloe. Let's say we want to make a small adjustment and tilt the head the other way when Chloe finishes talking. Instead of recording the whole performance again, we can just focus on this one section and add a new, shorter take for the head performance. Let's scrub over to that part of the timeline and then disarm the behaviors on the right that we don't want to bring in any new data for by clicking the red dots next to them. In this case, we can disarm dragger, eye gaze, lip sync, and triggers. We can also click to turn off the microphone icon in the camera and microphone panel so we won't record any additional audio. So now only the face behavior, which includes head and eyebrow movement, is looking for live data. There are a couple of ways to record triggers. For this performance, let's have Chloe close her eyes when she says hello and swap in a hand position with her palm facing the other way. If we click the triggers panel on the left, we can see that the three key is set to switch the palm around 
and the B key will hold on the blank state. Another way to visualize this is in the controls panel, which we can get to by clicking the controls tab directly next to the timeline. We can disarm the face behavior and only arm triggers, then press record to get started. When the timing is right, we can either click the controls panel icons or the keyboard keys to activate these triggers. The transform and physics behaviors have smaller dots next to them. This is because they're passive behaviors. In most cases, you don't have to worry about arming or disarming them. They just work passively behind the scenes. The same is true of the parameters inside each behavior. So if we adjust transforms position X or rotation, either in the properties panel behaviors or controls panel sliders, we usually don't have to arm anything because these are set values in the background we don't need to change over time. However, if we wanted Chloe to move horizontally, we would arm position X in the properties or controls panel, press record, and adjust the values during recording. Adding physics in Adobe Character Animator CC creates interactive elements that can help add life into your scenes. Open the example Physics Beginner Lesson Character Animator Project file, and in the Project panel, inside the Completed folder, double-click Scene 1, Basic Physics. This should open the scene in Record Mode. If you drag the red bar or the blue circle, you'll notice they collide with each other, as well as the green boxes and purple ramp. The objects bounce off the sides of the scene, and letting go of the red bar returns it back to its normal position. If you click the Scene Refresh icon in the lower right corner of the Scene panel, the simulation restarts, and you can briefly see an orange triangle that falls through everything. The Dangle tag in Adobe Character Animator CC is a great way to add secondary animations to your character that sway and bounce along with your character's movements. Open the example Physics Beginner Lesson Character Animator Project file, and in the Project panel, inside the Completed folder, double-click Scene 2 Dangle Physics. This should open the scene in Record Mode. As I move my head in the webcam, I'll notice a lot of extra movement to this character. Her hat bounces, her hair swings back and forth, and the drawstrings on her coat move as well. If I adjust the Stiffness parameter under Dangle inside the Physics behavior on the right to 100% or higher, these elements become a lot more rigid. Adding particles in Adobe Character Animator CC allows you to create interesting weather systems like rain and snow, or projectile elements like cannonballs. Open the example Physics Beginner Lesson Character Animator Project file, and in the Project panel, inside the Completed folder, double-click Scene 3, Particle Physics. This should open the scene in record mode. Blue circles immediately start raining down from the top of the scene. As you move your head, the umbrella character bumps into them, sending them bouncing onto the floor where they eventually fade away after a few seconds. A trigger in Adobe Character Animator CC is simply a way to show or hide a group or layer. If I want this robot to have a heart animation appear on his screen, clink his claws together, or even open up his entire face to reveal a hidden computer screen, this is all done through triggers. Open the example Triggers Beginner Lesson Character Animator Project file, and in the Project panel, double-click Scene 1 Basic Triggers. This should open the scene in Record Mode. Let's experiment with these simple triggers first, and then we'll show how they were made. In Adobe Character Animator CC, when a group added to a trigger has a behavior associated with it, that behavior also gets triggered, giving you several ways to greatly expand the expressive possibilities of your characters. Open the example Triggers Beginner Lesson Character Animator Project file, and in the Project panel, double-click Scene 2 Triggering Behaviors. This should open up the scene in Record Mode. We'll play with these examples first, and then make them for ourselves afterwards. Pressing the 1 key shows a short explosion trigger, and one of the most common areas to add triggers into your creations with Adobe Character Animator CC is a character's face. Even just a few simple triggers can greatly expand the emotional range of your puppets. 
Open the example Triggers Beginner Lesson, Character Animator Project File, and in the Project panel, double-click Scene 3, Face Triggers. This should open the scene in record mode. If your webcam and microphone are on in the upper right corner, you should immediately see the character following your movements and lip-syncing with your voice. If you press the 1 through 9 keys, you'll see the face react in a variety of ways. 1 does a simple blink, while 2 animates a blink over several frames.